The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Welcome everybody to Championship Wrestling. Todd Kennelly, James Kincaid, Blake Bulletproof Troop. We are on the road to episode 500. Huge high stakes main event this week. Jordan Clearwater gets his big shot. The golden boy with a golden opportunity. He faces Ray Rosas for the Heritage title. In the main event, in your estimation, Blake, is Clearwater ready? Jordan and I have been preparing for this moment for about eight months. And I'm going to tell you right now, he's ready. When that Midas touch lands, it's going to be lights out. Rosas, though, a decorated veteran as well. Speaking of champions, former champion Dan Joseph has fallen on some hard times. He'll be back in action. Yeah, I mean, Dan Joseph looking to rebound in a big way, coming up short in his rematch attempt against Levi Shapiro. He's going to face a top-tier athlete, though, in Jordan Cruz. More athleticism on display to be sure. Well, all day facing snipes. That and a whole lot more here on Championship Wrestling. It's time to fight on. I mean, did you feel me like I had asked you to? I mean, I know you're clean, but I know you're clean, but can I help you? Yes, yes, you can help. Who are you? I'm Jordan Clearwater. Jordan, clearly I'm on the phone here. Jordan Clearwater. I know who you are. You have that match for the Heritage title tonight, don't you? That's right, that's right. Now, do you have something that you need? I'm clearly busy. Yes, I have something that I need. I have something that I want. I want Richie Slade today. That's what Jordan Clearwater wants. Okay, well, first you need to take the bass out of your voice, son. You know what? We're going to give you that match. But it's going to be at the 500th episode spectacular. And you cannot touch him until then. Wait, 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 wait. Who are you to make that decision? Let me tell you who I am. My name is Jamie Ivey. And my friend Nico gave me the pen, the stroke, the power to do whatever I want in this building. Anything he can do and execute, I will do and execute. Maybe even better. Okay. Okay. You got it. I'm glad. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 205 pounds, Snipes. Getting set to kick off the action. How about where we just saw Jamie Ivey, who used to handle the upper class. Back, I guess, the, the right-hand man, Nico Marquez. They're talking to Jordan Clearwater. We'll see Clearwater later in the main event, but Snipes, great athlete, here to kick us off. And introducing his opponent from Houston, Texas, All Damn Day, Will All Day. Will All Day, I think uh, looking a little frustrated perhaps with his introduction. He's very, very particular. Incredibly, he's non Hey, cut the music. Non and then I feel, I feel like we just did this. We just did this on Primetime Live. It's the main event. All damn day, will all day. So last time you did this, you distracted me, and the only reason I lost against Clearwater is because of your stupidity. So I don't know if you're just trying to piss me off, or you're just plain stupid. Now cue my damn music and do it again. Oh man. Unnecessary. Cue the music! His opponent from Houston, Texas, he is the main event, all damn day, Will All Day. All right, well, there you have it. Will All Day getting it the way he wants it. And the main event is going to kick us off, I'm sure, much to his chagrin. Yeah, no doubt about it. He should have his sights set on snipes, not on his ring, you know, his ring announcement. He's going to actually blame 
our ring announcer for his loss weeks ago on primetime live against Jordan Clearwater. Not letting it go. Oh, he sure isn't. TK, it's crazy the way these guys talk to some of the officials. I'm just waiting for the moment somebody tries to talk to me like that. <laughs> I think it's going to be, uh, I wouldn't bet on it. Well, here we go. Snipes and Will All Day. Will All Day is the reigning reality of wrestling Texas champion. Title not on the line here, but Snipes were to get a victory. Certainly could turn some heads there, maybe, of Booker T himself. And Snipes taking control of the arm in the early going. Will All Day, what a fantastic athlete he is. He is absolutely a, a tremendous athlete. I think that's why it's so frustrating for, for me to see him you know, take to Adnan like What's that and just sort of carry himself in a way that's not befitting of an athlete of his stature. You know, he's worked really hard to, to earn the title, Will All Day. And I can't blame him for wanting to establish that, but I'm not a fan of the way he went about it. We always talk about coming in with a great camp as a fighter. Will All Day's got that. He's under the tutelage of Booker T at Reality of Wrestling. But how about Snipes, trained? by the legendary Gangrel. What a great veteran he is. Gangrel still has Gangrel's Wrestling Asylum out in Florida, is open to a school out there now, and continues to train many of the best young stars in the sport today. And Snipes here keeping him guessing and off balance and turns it into a cover attempt. Yeah, you take your eyes off Snipes too. He'll plant you with that impaler and it'll be lights out for Will all day in a, heart, in a hurry. Not only that, but Snipes also has some fantastic flying, jumping, and spinning attacks. Both these guys do, in fact. So I really think that Snipes has a slight advantage by being slightly bigger and slightly stronger. Will All Day offering his, his hand a little bit of sportsmanship. So, you know, maybe there's still some hope. Some of that great competitor. Will All Day was a wide receiver at a Rice University in his native Texas. Shows a lot of that athleticism in the ring. But man, closing the gap in a hurry with Snipes. Snaps off a beautiful head scissors takedown. And Snipes all measuring all day here. Yeah, Snipes jumped the route of Will all day. Continuing with that power slam cover. Could be all. A handful of good moves there by Snipes. You got to wonder if Will all day's head is still about his name and his introduction. Because he's not competing like he's in this matchup right now. Yeah, if he loses this, I bet he uh, blames Adnan. And now Nobody Snipes will. has got a, a hold of the uh, the hand here, and uh, we'll see what he can do with it. Snipes, you know, originally trained in Knox Pro under the likes of Gangrel and Rikishi as well, Nobody Count of California will. Black Pearl. What Look at this. Oh, swing and a miss there by Will all day. Great balance by Snipes. Uh-oh, oh, got caught. That Fastball coming right across the plate there, James. Full hit of steam. Tope Suicida by all day. Going to keep the pressure on. Oh, wow. What are, oh, my God. Swung right to the post. God. Yikes. I thought Snipes was able to you know, mit mitigate the damage there, but all day just turned it around on him into that post. Huge turning point. We'll be back with more right after this. United Wrestling Network Primetime Live, Tuesdays exclusively on pay-per-view. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn about this groundbreaking new CGM technology. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Shipping is free, and we'll even bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, Call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn how you can get your own continuous glucose monitor or CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Welcome back, everyone. Will All Day continues to punish Snipes on the outside. A huge turning point in this matchup, gentlemen, using that post not once but twice. Yeah, both guys are really jockeying for position on that lift. 
Will all day I was able to counter the suplex by uh, Snipes and plant Snipes on that ring post. And, and James, he had all kinds of velocity sending Snipes, you know, just back and ribs first into that post. Yeah, that was just a big time pendulum swing all day coming out the better for it. I don't know if Snipes is gonna be able to get back into this matchup because of it, but here he's proving me wrong, showing all kinds of determination. Adrenaline can do wonders, and Snipes showing a lot of fire. I think he doesn't have quite the amount he would normally have on those strikes, however, up and over. Will All Day follows him in, beautiful timing, precision on display with the dropkick. That was very smart for him to watch Snipes' movement. He saw Snipes dip out to the side, countered him, and caught Snipes slipping. Oh. Big drop kick the other way. What's good for the goose is good for the dan gander, James. You, you saw Snipes favoring that shoulder, but, but then he saw the opening for the drop kick, but now Will all day coming back with one of his own. He's got Snipes hung out to dry here. Drop kicks aplenty. Boy, attacking from all angles now. Big shot upstairs by Will all day. Beautiful transition to get himself in position for that shot. Uh-oh, looking maybe Moonsault Press connects. Oh but does not land immediately into the cover. Now does, trying to capitalize. Can he put him away? Not yet. Beautiful wow. kick out there by Snipes. We've seen Will all day do a lot of damage to Snipes, particularly to his low back and kidney region. If he can keep attacking the kidneys, he can start getting Snipes' body to shut down on him. Yeah, no, no doubt, and it really started with that shot into the post. The eyes looking, uh, looking pretty strange there are Snipes. He is eating a lot of punishment. He's paying the price in this one. A little bit classy right now is Snipes. You see the fight just sort of draining out of him as Will all day is becoming more and more methodical, picking him apart. You're gonna expect the intensity to ratchet up here on the road to episode 500. One month away to that historic episode, hook of the leg and Will all day again tries to put him away. I mentioned earlier that Snipes is slightly bigger and stronger than Will All Day, but that also gives Will All Day the speed and agility advantage. Oh, yes. oh. Now, you talked about how he talks to officials, how he talked to Adnan. Now the referee himself. What's it say? say tell me what it says. Oh, he, he's looking for that autograph, guys. He pulled that knee pad up. He's got Snipes measured. If he hits this running knee, it could be over. Oh. Nobody home. Oh, he hits, but he hits the bottom turnbuckle. This yeah. could give Snipes a little window of time to start recovering. He needed a little break, and this could be it. He got a little flashy there, James. You know, pulling up the knee. Who, who's that for? Just, just to, 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 you know, for himself to celebrate and gloat? Well, I mean, his attitude coming back to bite him a little bit, and, you know, we're supposed to remain impartial, but I kind of like to see that, that happen. To be oh. honest with you, Snipes now showing the fight. What a spear. Turn him inside out, but I mean, I think the momentum, in essence, brought Will All Day right back to his feet, showing little effect. Big swinging slam by Snipes, who's kept his eye on the prize. You know, he, he was taught the right way by Gangrel. Fundamentals, look for the win. He's not here showboating. I mean, who are you trying to press, impress here? It's Snipes, who usually, I mean, he's a very confident individual, but yes, he came into this matchup. He's been the one that's been more focused, I think, than Will All Day. He's just sustained a lot of damage. <laughs> Big suplex there by Snipes, gonna hold on to that lock. High stakes episode, main event still to come and who will be Heritage Champion as we head closer and closer to episode 500. Ray Rosas defending against Jordan Clearwater. What a match that will be. And man, look at this. You talked about jockeying for position. We're seeing it here, Blake. Yeah, both guys are going for really high, I wouldn't say high risk, but higher risk maneuvers. Oh, beautiful slam, belly to belly slam that was nice. Oh, Post call. How Both guys were looking that? to jockey for a position to do with a slam. Both guys continue to get countered for it. I would like to see him use lower wrist techniques to start getting ahead and build up to those slams. The look on Snipes' face told the story. He Which thought he had put will? will all day away in this matchup. He's going to have to dig down deep, though, and pull something out, else out to finish him off. That's a great point. And now it's the back of of Will all day that's smarting. After that, you know, big slam earlier by Snipes. You. Continues the full What's court press. Yeah. Well, oh, he's looking for the impaler, but nice defense there by Will all day. Oh, springboard shot, beautifully done. Looks like he caught him right across the bridge of the nose there. Not sure how much Snipes is gonna be able to carry it up, but he's able to rally right back with a kick of his own. Back and forth battle between these two, impressive. Seesaw battle, high impact by both. Both guys can continue using strikes to try and get themselves ahead. I think it will open their ability up to do bigger attacks. Well, here we go. 
to wit what you're talking about, Blake. Looking for maybe a power bomb, perhaps, but Will Alday looked like he raked the eye there. Oh, what a super kick. Big time shot by Will Alday. That might be exactly what he needs to create that distance. Looking for the autograph. Signed, sealed, delivered if he hits it, guys. That is for certain. Here we go. Full head of steam. Caught him right on the button. Loves to put people away with that. Is that going to do it? Deep hook of the leg. All day gets it done. Here is your winner, Will All Day. Very good back and forth action there by both competitors. Will All Day getting the impact of that flying knee autograph finish. Yeah, we'll take a look at it here. Uh, replay brought to you by Primetime Live Live each and every week on pay-per-view. There's the super kick. He calls it the sweet kiss good night. That got him the distance he needed into the autograph for the one, two, three. And apparently we're going to hear from the main event. And uh, you know, Adnan was there, had the microphone ready to go, and all day making Adnan climb into the ring. Just the attitude on this guy. Boy, arrogance. Ed, man, I'm gonna do you a little favor. I'm gonna get you some TV time. It's not a face made for TV, but I digress. No, I, I, you know what? On second night, get the hell out of here. You got lucky. You got lucky I didn't step off and get my butt kicked, so I saved your ass. Guys, this kid chants, what's my name, the entire match. And I can't seem to remember it, because Really, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. The only name that you need to remember is the main event all damn day. Will all day. Now play my music. Man, oh man, is this guy ever full of himself. But I guess it's not bragging if you can back it up. And Will all day certainly backed it up in the ring with a victory over the very tough Snipes. So much more to come your way here on Championship Wrestling, including our huge main event, Ray Roses, Jordan Clearwater, Heritage Title. We'll be back. Can you state your name for the camera? Jack Banning. Do you know where you are, Jack? Quarantine. I've spent a lot of time in lockdown being told how to think, being told what's normal and what's crazy, being told what's real and what's fake. You think what I do is fake? Being told who I am. By people who don't know Jack. I'm Mike Lindell, and my passion has always been to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. TV has helped my pillow become the amazing company that it is today. So my employees and I want to thank you with some of our best prices ever. Go to mypillow.com right now and click on TV specials. You'll get deep discounts on my pillows, mattress topper sheets, and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regular $89.99 for only $29.99 with your promo code. Millions have trusted Omega XL to relieve their pain for the last 15 years. No amount of money would have me put my reputation on the line to endorse a product. This product works. Omega XL, a one-of-a-kind anti-inflammatory supplement formulated to help relieve pain caused from inflammation in your back, knees, neck, and joints. Since I've been taking Omega XL, I feel like a new man. I get up in the morning and I'm ready for the day. Omega XL is not fish oil. The secret is it's sourced from green-lipped mussels only found in the pristine waters of New Zealand. It contains a blend of over 30 fatty acids compared to common fish oil. It would take 10 fish oil capsules to get the same benefits of one Omega XL. Why don't I spend your money on something that works? I mean, this works. Omega XL has sold for $70, but today we reduce the price to $39.95. Call now to receive Larry's special offer, a second bottle free, a value of $140 for just $39.95. But you must call now. And if it didn't work, I wouldn't be back in it. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the LBC, weighing in at 169 pounds, the party captain, Guy Cool. 
Set for action here on Championship Wrestling. The party captain has made port here in Port Huanimi, and I guess he's been partying responsibly as of late. And introducing his opponent from Gun Barrel City, Texas, weighing in at 230 pounds, the Western Roughneck, Jesse James. I'd have to guess that there's not a whole lot of yachts and party boats in Gun Barrel City, Texas. Yeah, I think you are absolutely right about that, TK. I also think how Jesse James defines a party is probably very different than Guy Cool. You know, I think they both like to tip him back, though, a little bit, you know? Just subtle differences. Subtle. Jesse James, a rough, tough hombre, though. Blake Troop, big heavyweight brawler, someone you can certainly relate to. Absolutely. I'd imagine if these two are partying, there's a little bit more blood at a Jesse James party than a Guy Cool party. Yeah. See, what, uh, see what Guy Cool can do. Certainly not lacking in confidence, Guy Cool. No, not at all. And he looks to be in terrific shape. I know we were yeah. uh, catching up with him, and he, he says that he's been uh, making the best out of uh, you know the times that we are in. He's working on getting those abs going. Switch to seltzers uh, to, to help with that. Lower in calories. Lower in calories. And now, just, you see it. They're those rough tactics. Just dr just driving the forearm, that the tape, the and the bone of the forearm across the face of the party captain who might drop rank, yeah, maybe he'll be the party lieutenant, something like that, he's match up. You can really see some grinding out of Jesse James. That's what we call in combats. Whoa, is that a titty twister out of Guy Cool? Hey, wait a minute. You know what, I, hey, the, everybody's got their weaknesses. Sometimes you go to the eyes, sometimes, you know, you go to the aerial ones. Loot from Jesse James. No parties to be had in the ring right now for Guy Cool. Sharp elbows there by the big man, Jesse James, who has been so impressive. We saw him in action on Primetime Live, took on Platinum Max Caster in the time since, you know, turned a lot of heads on pay-per-view and here in Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, now a member of the All Elite Wrestling roster. Nice head scissor takedown by the party captain. Yeah, the party captain's actually starting to find his stride. Early on, he was getting ground on by Jesse James. He's trying to get something going for him though. Oh, he put the anchor down there, put on the brakes, and nice counter elbowed springboard. Oh, Kata has shot a big kick right upstairs and dropped the big guy. Here's the cover, upset city, here we go. Only a count of two. I'd like Perfect. to see Guy Cool use some more of these high flying attacks to put Jesse James on his back. That's one of the first times I've seen him down. He's got a, he's got a bit of a sense of urgency and, and, and for good reason here, James. Trying to get the upset victory is Guy Cool looking good. It is looking good for him so far. I mean, he that was a perfectly placed shot underneath the chin a moment ago. But now Jesse James turning the tables on him, and the party might be over in Ooh. short order, but no. Guy Cool is lucky he was able to get himself out of the way of that. That might have been a three count after that senton bomb. You're not kidding. There was no uh, nothing in the well there, nothing in the watering hole for the Western Roughneck. And now going upstairs is the party captain. Hey, he's known for serving up shots, and that's what he's doing. Yeah, shot after shot. He's using Jesse a great, James looking punch drunk. He's using a great job of using his legs to do damage. His legs are about the size of Jesse James' arms, so it's smart of him to use such a big body segment. He's going to the top now. Another high-flying attack out of Guy Cool. Sure is. Guy Cool, what's he got in mind? Big uh, swanton, but I think he caught the knees there. Nice counter. Uh-oh, look out here. Larry at time, reversed again by the party captain. The seas are getting rocky though. Look out, oh, capsized. Wasn't able to get out of the way of that one. That's gonna be all she wrote. Yeah. Here is your winner, Jesse James. Jesse James creating the shipwreck. Let's take a look at the action brought to you by UnitedWrestlingShop.com. Get your official branded UWN merchandise. Here we go. The party captain put up a great fight. He used high flying. He kept him off balance. But in the end, he got shipwrecked courtesy of the big Lariat. Yeah, impressive effort. But, you know, like you said, Jesse James, one bad hombre, and he's walking out the victor. You see that?
Big victory by Jesse James and Clint Armstrong standing by to get a word with the victor. Oh, oh my goodness, that was fantastic! Uh, oh, Price. The, the, the intensity, Levi the, the wardrobe especially. <laughs> that was stellar. That was blue ribbon. That was amazing and well you have got my attention you just go ahead here and give me a call uh, <laughs> it's actually on the other side of the card i'm getting them printed uh, but you just give me a little ring a ding ding <laughs> and we can make us a great deal <laughs> huh you give us a call come say howdy <laughs> i'll think about that folks i'll think about that you think you thank you very much not a problem you take care come on Little business proposition here by Howdy Price and the Price Check Ranch to Jesse James. He didn't even have his own printed business cards. It's nope. on the back. Are you kidding me? We'll be back. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now. Has your AC busted, computer crashed, appliance broken? Then you need ARW, American Residential Warranty. Hi, it's me, Anthony Sullivan. And yes, you've actually caught me at home relaxing because life's been pretty worry-free since I got coverage with American Residential Warranty. Home appliance repairs and replacement can cause stress and cost you over $3,000 per year. But ARW has home warranty plans starting at less than a dollar a day. My air conditioning broke on a Sunday. It was so hot, I called ARW and they came out and fixed it right away. You won't believe what ARW covers. Heating and air conditioning, washers and dryers, kitchen appliances, plumbing, water heaters, electrical systems, flat screens and laptops, even pools and spas, and so much more. All plans are fully customizable and come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call now and get a home security system free with any plan. Call American Residential Warranty. They'll get you covered. Call to find out which home warranty plan is right for you. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Lafayette, Louisiana, weighing in at 203 pounds, Showtime, Jordan Cruz. Get set for more action here on Championship Wrestling. Showtime, Jordan Cruz out of the great state of Louisiana. Looks like he's been putting even more time into the gym. Looks to be in fantastic shape. He'll need to be, because he's got a tough challenge here. Yeah, and he might be uh, catching Dan Joseph at the right time, but there's two schools of thought. You know, Dan Joseph you know, has not regained his television championship. Might be uh, an opportunity for Jordan. And introducing his opponent from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 207 pounds, Dan Joseph. And we see a former United Television champion Dan Joseph saying, getting back on track, rebuilding the momentum. Let's, let me ask you this, Blake Troop, as a combat sports competitor. When you lose your title, you maybe get another crack at it, and you, you endure a bit of a slump. What does it do to your psyche, and what's it take to get back on track? You know, there's two things you either see guys go up or go down from there. And Dan Joseph's coming in here fired up and pumped up. I think we're going to see... I think we're going to see him rise up. On, I think he's going to rise to the occasion Ready. tonight. Ready. And it was just heartbreak city for Dan Joseph. Just last oh. week, his rematch, his bid to regain the United Television Championship from Levi Shapiro, somebody you know quite well, James Kincaid. Yeah, the timeless one, Levi Shapiro, never met a shortcut he didn't take. But that's kind of what I was alluding to with Jordan Cruz's opportunity here. Is Dan Joseph going to spiral or is he going to rise to the occasion, like Blake said, and get back on track? I think that's, those are sort of the two schools of thought. So it could be great timing for Jordan Cruz or really bad if Dan Joseph comes in extra motivated. Speaking of Jordan Cruz, he has debuted on Primetime Live and had several matches, one including a match against Chris Dickinson, and he has been doing better and better. He might not have won some of those matches on Primetime Live, but we've been seeing him continue to improve. Yeah, stepped right up to the plate and took on Chris Dickinson in 
Dickinson's debut, and now the uh, good athlete here in Jordan Cruz trying to control Dan Joseph, who has a bit of a, a, a different look in his eye. Usually Dan Joseph, that frenetic energy, uh, fun-loving, and, and ultra-confident, and right now just very focused for certain, but just a little bit more deliberate, I think, perhaps, Dan Joseph than we're used to recently. A little bit more intense, that no hocus pocus, just focus mindset might be entering Dan Joseph's mind. Both guys are here to compete. We've seen several good takedown attempts by both guys that were countered, and now you see Jordan Cruz working an arm lock submission off of a takedown attempt. Breaks him down, though. Does Dan Joseph step through with the leg trip and takes over with the side headlock? Dan Joseph, what a fighting champion he was. Just great defenses throughout his time. After, you know, defeating Royce Isaacs, world-class athlete, for the title initially, and now going for a cover. Nice bridge. You know, defended the title on Primetime Live, live on pay-per-view as well, once against Levi Shapiro, against Dom Kubrick as well. And it took Shapiro four opportunities to win the title. And now backslide here by Jordan Cruz. Dan Joseph has had one rematch. I'd love to see Dan Joseph work his way back into contention to get another shot at the timeless one. Yeah, you know, Dan Joseph, he's a hard guy not to root for. I know we're supposed to remain impartial, but he just has such a, just that blue collar workman mentality. And, you know, like you said, fighting champion. And he really has gotten the short shrift in recent times now with Levi Shapiro. Again, taking the quick way out and getting, you know, robbed in a lot of people's opinion of the championship. Taking him down there with the shoulder block. This has been very fundamental thus far. Neither wants to make a pivotal mistake. Still to come, the Hollywood Heritage title on the line. A lot of history between the champion, Ray Rosas, and his challenger, Jordan Clearwater. I gotta ask you, you think Clearwater's ready for this big title matchup? Play? I am very confident in Jordan Clearwater's ability. I think he's gonna perform tonight. I think he's gonna go home with some new jewelry. Still to come, but we got great action here thus far. And again, I think very fundamental Dan Joseph here because after you know the, those losses to Levi Shapiro, I don't think as Cruz now goes for the cover, I don't think Dan Joseph can, can afford another loss right now. I don't think he's leaving anything up to chance. Yeah, no, I think you're absolutely right. You want to avoid that spiral effect that you suffer a couple of setbacks. You suffer one against Jordan Cruz right now. I, I feel like it's just going to put you in Ooh, all the right cover. cover. Oh, only a count of one. But man, that was a great drop kick there. Great elevation by Showtime Jordan Cruz. He's a former defensive back, so he elevated, uh, you know, to, to, to play the ball and go for interceptions in the past. We saw that vertical leap right there, scooping a slam, looking for the elbow, nobody home. You gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to put one over on the former champion, scooping a slam the other way. Oh, there you see it. Drops the elbow, little uh, head and shoulder fake. That was very smart of Dan Joseph. He looked down to make sure his opponent was gonna be there before the attack landed. Jordan Cruz moved, and Dan Joseph adjusted to that movement and landed the elbow. Stringing together the offense, or trying to, looked for the snap suplex, did the former TV champion, but lowering his level was Jordan Cruz. This may be as impressive as we've ever seen. Into the cover, upset on the way, not yet. I mean, Cruz is making a fine showing against a former United Television champion, and again, that begs the question, is Dan Joseph fully focused here? Is he in a, a great mental state of mind? Well, it, you can't look past an athlete the caliber of Jordan Cruz. That's how you get beat, and that would be maybe the biggest win of Cruz's career. Certainly up there, what a side slam by Dan Joseph, maybe taking back control of this matchup, and you see that intensity in his eyes. It, the ratchet of physicality is getting turned up here now, Blake, as we see both, it started with grappling and fundamentals, now transitioning to striking. Yeah, it definitely started out as more of a sports competition, and it has been turning a little bit more into a fist fight. Look at this, takes him into the corner, looking for a power slam now, looking for the long way down, and now the long three count. Dan Joseph, here is win. your winner, Dan Joseph. What a win there by Dan Joseph. Let's take a look back at the action brought to you by Primetime Live each and every week on pay-per-view. Dan Joseph, a gutsy performance, gets him down with a long way down for the one, two, three, back to his winning ways. And here we see some great sportsmanship. I mean, I'll tell you, Jordan Cruz stock rising in that one as well has got nothing to be ashamed of. He looked very good and he came out and he played Dan Joseph's game. 
more to come, including our huge Heritage Title main event right here on Championship Wrestling. Don't go anywhere. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Attention. If you've had a hernia surgery after 2006 and suffered from serious side effects such as infection, chronic pain, organ damage, mesh shrinkage, or mesh migration, you could be eligible for financial compensation. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte right now at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, has withdrawn its Physio Mesh Flexible Composite Mesh from the market. Again, if you've had complications from your hernia surgery after 2006, you could be eligible for financial compensation. We can find out what type of devices were used in your surgery. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. You deserve justice and the call is free. And there is no fee unless we win your case. Call now for your free case evaluation. Again, call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. Main event time here on Championship Wrestling and a huge opportunity for the Golden Boy. Ever since that training in Black House MMA, perfecting the Midas touch, he's been unstoppable. But the question remains, can he win the big one? I believe that he is going to win this title on the program. Jordan Clearwater's developed so many new weapons since becoming to train at Black House. This kid is on another level. This is Jordan Clearwater 2.0. A lot of history between champion and challenger. Should be a good one with the Heritage title on the line in our main event. I'm expecting to see that Midas touch and then lights out. Here we see the champion. As Ray Roses has said in 2020, don't stay static, if you will. Both the Heritage Champion, Arizona State Champion, and a whole lot of history between these two. I mean, at one point, Ray Roses was basically a mentor to Jordan Clearwater. They had a pretty ugly falling out after a while. It's the old adage that, hey, I might have taught this kid everything he knows up until Black House MMA, of course, <laughs> but certainly not everything that the Heritage Champion knows. Yeah, no doubt about it. You got to believe that Ray Rosas has a few tricks up his sleeve that he did not show Jordan Clearwater. Uh, but, you know, it's also interesting what Ray Rosas' mindset will be in because he has turned a lot of things around in 2020. But now with everything that has been going on with SoCal distancing, just where is his head is at? Can he focus on Jordan here? Excellent point, and here to set the stage for our main event, Adnan Qureshi. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Hollywood Heritage Championship. Introducing first, the challenger. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the golden boy, Jordan Clearwater. Challenger and looking good, looking ready. Introducing the champion. He is the defending Hollywood Heritage Champion, Ray Rosas. Here I am, SoCal Distancing, right here. Here I am. Here I am. There you, there you have it, James. You know, you got to wonder the focus. I'm going to say, I, I know you'll question the focus of the champion. I'm going to question the focus of both. Obviously, You've got the champion, Ray Rosa, saying SoCal distancing. Don't, you don't have to look anywhere. I'm right here. But at the top of the program, and there you see what it's all about, the Hollywood Heritage title on the line. What a legacy. And that great title, some of the people that have held it over the years. But Jordan Clearwater at the top of the program approached, looking for Nico Marquez, got Jamie Iovine instead. Bell sounds, here we go. And he wants to get his hands on Richie Slade. 
that title second. I'm going to get my revenge. Ooh, boy. Clearwater's got a lot of people he's looking for revenge on, guys. Yeah, the list is growing, and you know, I, I think that you, you do make a good point that both these men maybe have their focus on more than just the championship, but I like what I saw from Clearwater. You know, he touched that Heritage Championship. He has eyes locked on it, so I think his focus, uh, maybe in the, you know, now that we're gotten the bell rung, is right where it needs to be. Like you mentioned, his eyes. The eyes are the gateway to the soul, and since Jordan Clearwater has came out and saw that belt, you can see the passion, desire, and confidence in his eyes. He does seem, he does seem laser focused, and again, a lot of history between these two. After uh, being the mentor of Jordan Clearwater, Ray Rose has turned his back on him. They mixed it up a number of times, and uh, now it's all come down to this. Obviously, after his time with Static, Ray Rose has had a change of heart as well and I think at this point maybe a bit although Clearwater saying he's out for revenge I got to think there's a bit of mutual respect somewhere to be found it's always an interesting time in careers when idols become rivals and now we see somebody that Jordan Clearwater used to look up to who he now has a personal problem with he said he's coming for Ray Rosas and then he's coming for his belt 2020 against all odds has been a great year for both Obviously, Rose is Arizona State champion. Heritage champion won the PP3. We've seen Clearwater live on pay-per-view on Primetime Live. Defeated Will all day out of Texas. Drop toe hold there by the champion. Nobody home for the follow-up elbow. Clearwater also has competed for New Japan Pro Wrestling. On the flip side, you know, Ray Rose is thinking his title defenses on Primetime Live on pay-per-view against the likes of Kevin Martinson. We've seen him defend the title here it is as well against Will All Day, so a mutual right, opponent between these two. Great competition in the making here in this main event. And even though they know each other very well, they are still feeling one another out here in this main event. Rosas, though, going to the breadbasket a couple of times on Clearwater. Now he's got him where he wants him in the corner. They're taking some time to feel each other out because they both respect each other's offense. They don't want to rush into something and get put in a bad place. When you look at both these guys, you've got to start looking at some of their attributes. Jordan Clearwater's bigger, stronger, faster, more technical. But the thing Ray Rosas has is experience. And I wonder if that's going to pay off for him. It goes a long way. I'll tell you, Ray Rosas knows every trick in the book. He's, ri he's written some of them. Cross body has just enough, but momentum takes him over. Body weight down and a two count there as Clearwater looking to make history. What do you think it would mean to this youngster to claim a major title here on Championship Wrestling? I think it's the next step in his career because this sky is the limit for Jordan Clearwater. I have seen what this kid can do personally. And I think after he wins a belt on this program, he's just going to start collecting Jordan Cover. Wow, two count. That was close. Yeah, he rocked Rosas with that, that knee. Rosas is getting glassy-eyed, having to use the corner to even sort of propel himself back up here and Clearwater putting a stop to that. The opportunities, they don't get any bigger than this at Championship Wrestling than they do right now for Jordan Clearwater. So big time meaningful strikes here have turned the table for Clearwater. Who now shot after shot, he's got the champion cornered. Going to work and out the back door goes Ray Rosas, the Heritage Champion again. The veteran wears of Rosas. That's exactly what that was. That was veteran experience right there that helped him get out of that corner. He was eating some big shots there. Title hanging in the balance. Main event continues right after this. If you suffer from everyday aches and pains, turn to the solution millions have trusted to help relieve pain for over 16 years. Omega XL is a powerful, drug-free, natural anti-inflammatory supplement. The secret is, it's sourced from green lip muscles found only in New Zealand that are super rich with over 30 healthy fatty acids, shown in decades of research to reduce pain caused by inflammation. It's small and easy to swallow, potent and effective. Call or click now to get our special offer. Two bottles of Omega XL, a $140 value for only $39.95. But you must act now. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. 
Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy, with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Welcome back, everyone, to Championship Wrestling. The Hollywood Heritage title on the line, and a very fired-up challenger, the golden boy, Jordan Clearwater, has taken control over once again. He's in the driver's seat of this championship main event. Great le leverage on the reversal. Ooh, uncharacteristic mistake though by Roses to telegraph that backdrop. Big neck breaker, one of his favorites there by the challenger. The champ is out, history to be made. No, no gold yet for the Golden Boy. So that really showed Jordan Clearwater's fight IQ where he's starting to see things coming like that back body drop. He saw it coming and he countered it and it almost got him the pin there. Got Great right. counter ability there. Yeah. And now this is not where you want to be, where, where the Golden Boy can measure you, James. You yeah. might be thinking Midas put touch here. He is lining him up. He is tuning it up. He is, he is just ready for Ray Rosas to end his reign with his favorite maneuver, that Midas touch, and just how sweet that would be for Clearwater to not only capture it, He's, he's loading up with the right, so it might be one, a one-way trip to the cemetery if he hits it. Nice counter. Takedown, though, single leg by Roses. He's got that leg. Grapevine now going to work on the ankle here. Maybe trying to take out one of the primary weapons. Too much strength, though, in the Golden Boy. Look out here. Big time spine buster. Used to be under the tutelage of Carl the Machine Gun Anderson. There he shows it into the cover. Wow, that was close, gentlemen. That was a big reversal by Ray Rosas. He almost got hit by that Midas touch. He caught it and was able to counter off of it. But he is very lucky that that did not impact on his chin. You can see the effects of both champion and challenger. This match has taxed them. Who will be the Heritage Champion as we continue on the road to the 500th episode? It's amazing to even say that of championship wrestling. And just so much history tied into that championship. Like I was saying, it just would mean the world to Clearwater to make the most of this opportunity. Oh, what? Looks like Clearwater is going up top. You know, again, this is very personal. I don't think you worked on this in Black House, though, uh, Blake. These high-flying antics, and it, it, it might not pay off. He got taken out of his own playbook, and Ray Rosas made him pay for it with the superplex. And now into the oh. corner. Oh, nasty, nasty landing there for the challenger. That was brutal, but Ray was able to land that second slam because he stayed attached to Jordan Clearwater. Had he become unattached, he wouldn't have gotten that second slam. That is another veteran tactic by Ray Rosas. Those knees over the rod, it's a good way to hyperextend a knee in a hurry, guys. Clearwater's just absolutely rocked Rosas in full control. Look, Could he's looking oh. to end it here. Adios amigos. He's won countless matches over the 10-year history of this program and almost wins another one. Almost, though, is the key word in that sentence. So one other thing about Jordan Clearwater that I haven't necessarily talked a ton about, he's technically there, he's athletic, but the kid is tough. I've put it on him, and he has survived, so I'm not surprised at all that he was able to kick out of that. He is. They're both tough, though. I mean, the, the, the champion has been taken down with ether. He's been beaten down by his former partners, and he what continues to for? fight on. He, can, he just said, did you hear that? He said, what are you waiting for? You want me? Come and get me. Right. Talking... Uh, presumably to SoCal distancing, and now maybe the champion going to go up. He loves to hit that elbow, but I think that I think that Jordan is out of position here, guys, if we, if we pull out here momentarily, and there you see it. I mean, he's all the way across the ring, and no, 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 here they come. Oh, come on. Look who's Oh, now, now Miguel from the back. Oh, swing and a miss. There goes the big guy. Rosas has got him scouted. Andy Brown now, watch out. Lethal striker Andy Brown, and he comes up short as well, dividing and conquering. Rosa said that he was ready for him, and so far he has been right, but who is this? No. No, 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 no. Well, who, who is this guy? I mean, we're, we're looking, that is, that is not Adrian Quest. He just planted Ray Rosas, whoever he is. And now, no. Not like this, come on. 
and SoCal distancing, looking at him, just looming in the shadows. Damage done. And now there's a, a, a count on. I don't want to see a double count out here, guys, with a heritage title on the line. But again, the champion got absolutely laid out by SoCal distancing. Yeah, they came in, they completely blow, blew up this match and just have created Four. havoc, admired their handiwork before leaving. But yeah, we don't want to see this end this way. Man, Ray Rosas was somewhat prepared for SoCal distancing to run in, but they threw a curveball on him, whoever that other person was. Well, he was dividing, conquering, but eventually the, the numbers game takes control. And now you have champion and challenger just trying to beat the count back to their feet. Up to five now. Clearwater beats the count and, and uh, can maybe, once he gets control of his mental faculties, might be able to measure the champion here because, again, the champion had to fight off all of so SoCal distancing. Yeah, bo both of the, I mean, look at Ray Rosas. He can't even stand up. Such was the damage done by SoCal Distance. You talk about the numbers game. Yeah, you can fight them off for a while, but when the numbers keep multiplying, you can't survive forever. And talking about standing, before they attacked, Ray Rosas, the champion, was standing on the top row, perhaps looking for that elbow. He was in pole position, and now it's reverse Clearwater, though, still using the ropes to stand up. Rosas not able to get to his feet yet. Boy, look at the face. I, I don't know if Rosas even, even knows where he is right now. He's trying. He continues to fight. He continues to try and fight his way up to his feet. The making of a champion. And there it is. And he nails him with it. The Midas touch, center of the ring. Oh, my goodness. It would be heartbreaking if, if, I hate to say it, but if Rosas loses the title this way, I don't think, I don't think Clearwater knows anything about what happened. Yeah, he's, he's going to Arm draped. Arm draped. Not this way. Oh, no. Here is your winner and new Hollywood Heritage Champion, Jordan Clearwater. History made. We're, we, we've got a, a new Heritage Champion, and we had a, a great match going on before it was marred by SoCal dis distancing. Let's take a look back at how it went down. There you see Dom Kubrick. Dom Kubrick apparently joining the ranks and in. in interfering in this matchup and then the Midas touch Blake it gets the one two three it wins the heritage title but there is controversy yeah the Midas touch left leg hospital right leg Hollywood heritage championship yes but I, I, I think you got to think at some point James that Jordan Clearwater who all he knows right now is that he hit the Midas touch and won the title he's gonna he's gonna see what really went down and, but I don't want to take anything away from this youngster and his win, and I'm sure he'll be a fighting champion. But damn it, SoCal Distancing, stay in your lane. We'll see you next time.